And we had to get the cat. Had to get the cat. Tammy became mouse obsessed. We live in Fairview. We live in the country. You cannot get rid of mice in the country. You can control them, but you can't get rid of them. I told her, you're watching TV and a mouse runs across your chest. We got a mouse problem and we'll deal with it. She comes out of the shed one day and says, there's mouse poop in the shed. That's because there's mice in the shed. She says, you know that? I go, no, it's not like I walk in and they go, hey, Jeff. I'm just assuming it's a warm place to be in the rain and whatever. They leave me alone, I leave them alone. She goes, I'm never going out in the shed again. I go, why not? She says, there's mice there. I go, what do you think's going to happen? You're going to walk in, they're going to beat up your big toe? <laughs> Then one day she comes upstairs from the basement and says, there's mouse poop in the basement. Oh, well, tell the dogs that could be an appetizer. <laughs> we go round and round and round. She wanted to get a cat. I don't want a cat. Get a cat. I don't want a cat. I want a cat. Finally, I said, all right, get a cat. I don't care. Get a cat. And what she did, sir, she went out and bought a cat. But <laughs> apparently there are no more free cats in North America. <laughs> this has got to be another one of those supply chain issues I keep reading about. <laughs> There's probably a barge full of cats hanging off a of Long Beach Harbor. Can't get to shore because of the 900 regulations they passed in the last month and a half. People standing on the shore, free the cats, Buddha Judge! We want our cats! Get off maternity leave and free the cats! He was on maternity leave and don't email me! Tammy was in labor for 33 hours with our youngest child. 33 hours shoving another human being into the world. If I would have looked at her after all of that and went, I'm exhausted, I need a month off. She would have stabbed me with the pen that was on the nightstand.